Ho, 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 suckers. Yeah, my daughter made this, so she's nine. I had to put this in the video for her so I could show her a little bit of appreciation. So that'll be going on my Christmas tree this year. Thought that was kind of cool of her. First thing she really made, you know? Anyway, let's get on with the knife now. So what we got today in front of us is the Benchmade 85 Thai Bally Song. Now I owned the 87 in the past. I kind of miss it. I sold it off to a kid that really liked it, you know, and since I had the 85 and I really liked the blade shape more on the 85, I just kept the 85. Didn't worry too much about the 87, but now since they discontinued it, it's like, motherfucker. So I kept that shit. Every time I give something up, man, they discontinue it. I, I pick some good shit. I, I, I got good taste in discontinued products. <laughs> anyway, all of us know about this sheath. We're hit and miss. Hate it or love it, you know. I think it's a pretty cool concept. They just don't last very long. You know, on my other one, it was green. I had the thread start popping out of it in a couple areas. It didn't make the sheath any more reliable or unreliable. It just looked like shit, you know? So I didn't like that too much about it. This is definitely a better option from my Basilisk Elite. I like using that sheath for it. Um, I just wish that you can get a sheath like this with a like a metal clip, like a steel clip. And I'll show you one that I've got here in a minute. But if they put a steel clip option on this thing, you can just slip it into your pocket and the knife just sticks out about that much. I think that would be awesome. But anyway, that's the sheath. Let's get on with the knife here and then I'll show you another sheath. All right, so I know a lot of you guys seen this already. If you haven't, man, you must have either just got into knives or you're just not a belly song lover. So this is it. 85 tie I really like this one and I hung on to it because of the fact that there's equal amounts of gap on both sides of this one some of the ones that I seen out there either hug one side a little bit more than the other and I just don't feel that they flip as good for some reason and I'm, to be honest with you they don't this one flipped perfect for me straight out of the box also has Loctite on the pivot the other four that I held in the store did not have Loctite on it, which was kind of weird to me. So I went with this one and I actually traded it off too and ended up getting it back just because of the fact I went to another store and looked at them and the pivots were not, did not have Loctite on it as well and still had the same issue. So I went back and got my original one back, which is this one. So. Benchmade went all out on this thing. I mean, we all know about the 42 series. I've owned several of those in the past. Wish I still did now for the freaking value they, they're they holding. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, this one is a $550 knife, full titanium. You can see that it's actually tapered off down towards the bottom, so it feels really good in the hand. It's got a magnetic clasp. So when you squeeze that, it's actually magnets fighting against each other that gives it enough woomph to flip right out. And it stays in that position. So it's tight enough that it doesn't flip around on you when you flip the knife. Some people take them off. Some people leave them on. I took it off. I feel that it threw off the balance a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And I'm not a serious freaking professional you know, trick flipper or nothing like that. I'm just your your standard flip and, you know, rotate around just to open and close the damn thing. I don't do this super shit that looks cool and throw it over my head and grab it on the back of my neck and hope I don't get cut. But, hey, people that do that, I like watching them. But to be honest with you, I had some injuries with my hand over the years and you can see the scars there. My fingers don't work like yours do. <laughs> so I am not going to make any attempts to practice with it. We've got, like I said, full titanium channel construction handles, magnetic latch. You can see it's tapered off on the inside as well. I mean, it looks really good. So it goes from a thick area up top down to a thin area at the bottom there. You can see. Feels really good in the hand when you go to hold it, use it or whatnot. Very, very good. I mean, straight up ergonomics. Nothing's really changed over the years with Bally Songs except for the fact that some people went thick and flat up at the top here down to a tapered, thinner part at the bottom. I think Rotan Knives was the first one that actually did that. 
that butterfly knife was the shit. I don't know why I got rid of it. It was a double edge. This one is not one of the prototype models. This is a standard, you know, just a standard sales issue model or whatever, production. Got S30V in the blade steel. Like I said, this blade is just an awesome shape. I mean, even if you had to use it, I like how it's got the little little dip in the blade right here. You know, if you actually did some pull cuts, that would keep the blade pushing towards the material as long as you're pulling it. So I like how they did that recurve. The edge is sharp as hell. This thing's razor blade sharp, man. I was really, really happy to get that out of the box. I know some knives you buy, they're just not very sharp out of the box, but holy shit. This one was sharp, man. It still is, because I don't use it. Flip it around a little bit, that's it, you know? Matter of fact, this is the first time I've had it out of the box since I moved. And still a, a great knife. So what I really want to talk about is, like what we started this video on, is sheath options. So I picked one up for this off of Amazon, made by a company called Grommets Leathercraft, right? Since 2006, they've been around. It's the maker's name. Let's put that there. And I went with the alligator skin. Since I was moving to Florida, I thought that would be a little bit cooler than any other options they got, just regular cowhide. And I went with the red because I like red. And I really like how it's got that reddish black fade to it. You know, it really came out nice. Very well made. It's got the steel clip on it. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If they put a steel clip on that, I mean, that would be a great option to have. Um, obviously, it's still pretty damn brand new because I haven't used it too much. I got it made. They shipped it to me. I put it in a freaking put it in the box and then I moved so it's definitely still brand new I don't think here in Florida I'm really gonna have to treat that leather too often I think it's gonna be just fine the way it is with the humidity levels and all that shit that's here maybe put a little bit of oil on it at some point but not sure yet we'll just wait and see what happens but anyway we will pick the knife up here and close it I'll show you how that thing fits in there See if I can do this one-handed. Like I said, it's still pretty damn new. All right, so we're just gonna push it in here. As you can see, that's all the way down right there. So that's about what you get. That's how much sticks out. And it is in there very tightly. So it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna fall out. You can definitely shake this thing. You can smack it up against the side of the house or jump out of a moving car. Yeah, I don't know about all that, but anyway, you get the point. It's not going to fall out on you. It's matter of fact, let me hold it on the sides just to show you like that motion there. <laughs> Definitely not going to fall out on you. So it is a very, very well-made sheath. Matter of fact, it even says that in the, the video that the guys do on these sheaths that it will not fall out. I think it was actually written in Amazon's website too that it holds the knife very tight. And from all the reviews, that's what they say. To take it out, I mean, you'll see here. See, that's pretty damn very tight. Okay, so if it's on your belt, I'm not getting that out with one hand, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. So, very tight. I mean, obviously, if it's on your waist, you're going to be able to jerk the knife right out and go to work. You know what I mean? But like I had it right now, that's not what happened took it a lot of force to get that thing out of there so all in all the sheath is a shit i like the company like the steel clip like the color craftsmanship everything about it here it is once again everybody so you don't have to rewind the video probably still have to rewind it to get this <laughs> but a lot better option than what this is like i said you can put this thing in there and, and throw it in your pocket but all in all if it came with a steel clip this would probably be a a lot better sheath than what it is i really don't like the velcro that goes around the belt it, it just feels cheap if you ask me it just feels cheap in a way so i wanted something with high quality i could put on this knife i mean it's an expensive knife and it's a classy looking knife it's robust it works it's not gonna break you know what i mean you can definitely use this as a hard use knife 
a butterfly knife is obviously if it's made right you can definitely use it for hard use now, i wouldn't do any prying with this just because of the fact that it's on ceramic bearings that's not the smartest thing to do with a knife with bearings anyway or any knife but really not one with bearings but you can definitely do some pretty hard use with a butterfly knife just because of the fact you've got these tangs going or the uh, pins going through the blade tang there it's absorbing every bit of pressure as long as you're squeezing on the handles so between the titanium and the steel pins going through a steel tang you're going to be able to do a lot more work than possibly what you could do with your average folding knife period made a lot stronger i've liked belly songs since i was a kid matter of fact the only ones i own right now though is this one uh, basilisk r elite from jerry hom and my daryl ralph that's it i've owned quite a bit over the years anything from the daltons to the cheap shit cold steel i mean i've owned a lot of butterfly knives man and these are the three that i stuck with just because i really appreciate some outstanding quality now a lot of the other makers out there you know especially on like pvk.com those damn things are outrageously priced i mean you're you're getting a 650 dollar bigler knife on pvk for like a thousand dollars eleven hundred dollars and they're not readily available so you can't find them everywhere but i did find some and i think it was true north knives or one of those websites i think it was true north but you can look on there and look at bigler blade works and you're getting them for six you know 550 to 700 dollars so much better option if you're into bigler blade works i have not had the option to play with one of those yet or should I say I have had the option, I just didn't have the funds to want to spend on something I wasn't really familiar with. But PVK's had them for quite some time. Blade HQ has them once in a while. Knife Center has them once in a while. And I believe it is True North Knives. So it's definitely out there. So if you're into something like that and you're ready to try out a Bally Song, I'm pretty sure it's a good company. But i just not into paying that ridiculous price they got on that on pvk and unfortunately the model the only models i really like are the two that i saw on pvk so once they're off on another website and i see them i might pick them up but bench made here 85 definitely back in the ball game with this one i mean it is a very very well made utility hard use knife so I would highly recommend this for all you guys that are into belly songs. If you just like belly songs like me, I'm not, um, and not too sure that it would be the ultimate flipper because I'll be perfectly honest with you right now. My Dural Ralph flips a lot better, a lot more smooth than this does. And it's not on bearings, it's on regular washers. But this one will not fall apart on you. You don't have to adjust the pivots, everything's done. I mean, it's the Loctite they put on here was put on at the right time because I've flipped it around quite a bit before I boxed it up and um, it's definitely still solid so very impressed just be careful what you buy like I said the quality's hit and miss man I've got seen them with Loctite on them I've seen them with no Loctite I've seen a huge gap on one side and a small gap on the other so just just be careful out there what you buy i mean especially since COVID happened like everybody stopped giving a shit you know and the quality just went way down so good luck finding a perfect one like i did all right everybody santa claus out